Hello guys, uh, here I am for another video brought to you by Riyadh Kuba, an English teacher. This is the first lesson of the module entitled Holiday in our shows devoted to baccalaureate students. If you are interested and you want to find out more, please continue watching this video. Every single day Before getting started, let's see what this lesson's objectives are. By the end of the lesson, the students will be able to describe their last holiday by watching a video and taking notes and writing a paragraph on that using some useful expressions. The words the students are meant to acquire in this lesson are to go on a package tour, to go on a cruise, to check out a three-star hotel, centrally located, a stone's throw away, attraction, a popular spot, a must-have experience, magical, panoramic, bustling, and charming. If you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video, you can follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And don't forget to share this video and to send it to as many of your friends as possible so that they can make the most of it. Welcome back. Since this module is about holidaying in art shows, I thought it might be useful to put it in its uh, proper context. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my trip to Turkey that I went on in 2019 to focus on some uh, holidaying and traveling related vocabulary. So let's get into it. Turkey was always on my list of countries to visit. This trip came after years of hard work and sacrifices. So I decided to break out of the routine and get aha uh -huh moments in my life. <laughs> As this was the first time I'd been to Turkey, I went on a package tour with my family. It was a seven-day trip. We stayed at a three-star hotel called the Grand Ons Hotel, which was centrally located as it was a stone throw away from all the big tourist attractions and shopping stores. Our trip kicked off with one of the must-have experiences in Istanbul, a cruise on the Bosphorus Strait to enjoy a relaxing and scenic boat trip. This was a great opportunity to check out all the amazing sights and sounds of this magical place, its panoramic grand palaces, its colorful neighborhood, and its bustling waterfront activity. We also visited one of the most popular attractions, Kemil Kahil, described as the most beautiful and charming hill in Istanbul. At night, we paid a visit to Ortakoy, ah. known as a popular spot for locals and tourists alike, for its uh, art galleries, cafes, and restaurants. During this trip, our tour guide took us to the Topkapi Museum, where we saw the Sultan's riches and toured the inner world of the Hara. We visited the Blue Mosque, a historic and popular tourist site that continues to function as a mosque today. We also went to Taksim Street, where we had an amazing stroll. We had a great time there, shopping around, tasting Turkish delight, and listening to the lovely melodies that talented street musicians offered. The cream of my trip was definitely the teleferic ride in Bursa City. This was the most memorable experience I had ever had in my entire life because I had never had the opportunity to see snow and touch it until the day I went to Bursa. I liked how the view changed. The most enjoyable activity I did was jet skiing. I recommend taking warm clothes and proper snow jackets and pants if you want to do this activity. Another part of this trip was devoted to shopping in Turkey's most visited shopping centers. We started off with the, the Forum Istanbul Mall, which is one of Europe's largest shopping centers, and then paid a visit to Olivium Center, where we found an extensive range of international clothing brands at low and reasonable prices. As for food, although I'm a picky eater, Turkish food was among the things that doesn't Food was glorious, delicious, and all freshly cooked from scratch. I was going to see the opportunity of me being there to go on a diet and lose some weight, but I could not resist it because of the incredible variety of mouth-watering dishes in Turkish cuisine. So this was a part of my trip to Turkey. If you want to find out more, please check out my travel vlogs. You will find the links in the description box below. 
In the second part of this lesson, we are going to focus on a grammatical point, and I would like you here to read the sentences carefully and to say what tense I have used. I went on a package tour. It was a seven-day trip. I stayed at a three-star hotel. Our trip kicked off with one of the must-have experiences in Istanbul. We visited Turkey's most popular attractions. We paid a visit to Ortakoy. Our tour guide took us to the Topkapi Museum. We saw the Sultan's Riches. And we had a stroll in Taksim Street. As you can see, I have used the simple past tense to talk about my trip to Turkey because that trip took place in 2019, which means uh, in the past. So, when do we use the simple past? Very easy. We use the simple past when we want to talk about an action that started and finished in the past. But some of you might have forgotten the way we form the simple past. That's very easy. So, let's go over the rules. To form the simple past in the affirmative form, the rule goes as follows. Subject plus verb plus ed, and this is when the verb is regular, or subject plus an irregular verb. An irregular verb is a verb in which the past tense is not formed by adding the usual ed ending. Examples of uh, irregular verbs are do, did, and feel, felt. Let's go over these examples again and classify them into regular and irregular verbs. I went on a package tour. As you can see here, there is no ed. So, this is an irregular verb and its infinitive is to go. Number two, it was a seven-day trip. This is another irregular verb and its infinitive is to be. Number three, I stayed at a three-star hotel. This is a regular verb since we have added ed and its infinitive is to stay. Our trip kicked off with one of the must-have experiences in Istanbul. Kick off is a regular verb and its infinitive is to kick off. We also visited Turkey's most popular attractions. This is a regular verb and its infinitive is to visit. We paid a visit to Ortakoy. This is an irregular verb and its infinitive is to pay. Our tour guide took us to the Topkapi Museum. This is an irregular verb and its infinitive is to take. We saw the Sultan's riches. This is an irregular verb and its infinitive is to see. We had a stroll in Taksim Street. This is an irregular verb and its infinitive is to have. As for the negative form, keep in mind these three letters. S, D, V. If you want to make a correct sentence in the negative form in the past. S here stands for subject, D stands for did not or didn't, and V for verb. The verb here doesn't change and it should be used in the base form, which means verb without to. So let's change these affirmative sentences into negative ones. I stayed at a three-star hotel. In the negative form, we say I didn't stay at a three-star hotel. Number two. We had a stroll in Taksim Street, and here we say we didn't have a stroll in Taksim Street. And finally, we visited the Topkapi Museum, and here we say in the negative form, we didn't visit the Topkapi Museum. As you can see, all the verbs in the negative forms are in the base form. So keep this in mind. We don't add ed to the verb. Is it clear? Right. The last form you need to know here is the question form. To ask a question in the simple past, keep in mind again these three letters. D, S, V. D stands for did, S stands for the subject, and V stands for verbs, which must be, again, in the base form. This means verb without to. So let's apply this rule with these sentences. For the first sentence, we say, where did you stay? As for the second one, we say, where did you have a stroll? And finally, what 
did you visit when you went to Turkey, for example? As you can see, we have here question words plus did plus subject plus base form. Easy, right? Yes, it's as easy as one, two, three. We've come now to the end of the second part of this lesson. Let's move on now to the practice section. We will practice by writing a paragraph answering the following question. Describe a holiday you recently had. You should say where you went, how you got there, what you did there, and explain it if you loved it. Write your answer in the comment section below and I will correct it for you as usual. And remember, you have to use the simple past. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also to make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Love and peace. Riyadh.